we are ready to go as you can see we're in the back of our trailer getting our bikes loaded um, for our uh, journey down to Chesapeake Virginia tomorrow morning at 8:30. we are leaving to uh, uh, head down to Chesapeake you'll start riding and heading to DC the next day on the 10th we begin our trek to DC from Chesapeake um, first day is Chesapeake to Richmond over just over a hundred miles how many years is this for you now? I believe this is my 12th year, um, 11th or 12th year. I've been doing it for a while, I lost, I lost track. Toughest part about this? Toughest part about it is, um, I guess, trying to figure out how much to train. If you train too much, train too little, but there's never enough time to train enough. So I actually get in the time in to actually train for the ride. Um, but like I tell all my guys, it's, it's mostly mental. Uh, the key to it is just keep pedaling. Keep pedaling. Keep pedaling. Well, in looking at the weather, too, I looked ahead for you guys and saw it's going to be hot and it might rain. And I thought those are two things you probably don't like to see. No. Um, it's Rain is a little annoying because it's pounding on your your, uh, your your visor, your sunglasses, or whatever, and you get all soaked and water splashing all over the place. But then uh, the sun always, the clouds always open and the sun comes up and then it steams us. So it's never a great combination, but whatever the weather is, we'll, we'll, we'll ride. Well, Captain, you do that. I mean, you've done this all, all these years. And I mean, and you do it and you, you have a, especially for, for city police, you, mm -hmm. you, you have somebody that you can point to that, that you worked with. That's right. Uh, so Todd Barr, I ride obviously for Todd, um, who was killed in the line of duty in 2008. So, um, whenever we get you know tired and, yeah. and that's always the reminder at the briefing um, the day on day one when you get tired you start to get angry and cranky look down at your wrist because every officer will have a bracelet on their wrist with a falling off officer so when you get when you start to get grumpy look down at your wrist and remember why you're riding because yeah. um, there's somebody who paid the ultimate sacrifice who we are uh, are memorializing um, as we're riding through uh, the three days. And I guess I mean everybody does that. You, you, you know others I'm sure that, that have and I mean that, that's that's the thing about this ride that makes it so personal for all of you. Right. Everybody personally rides for someone um, which is why they do the ride. They're motivated by that um, individual who uh, they're riding for and then additionally you might be assigned an officer that you, you don't know. Someone from a different state or a different jurisdiction. Um, so you'll look that officer up and uh, find that officer's story, um, and then hopefully you'll meet the family in D.C. Um, because that's the point. We ride into D.C. on that third day, and we meet the families, and we, we present them with that bracelet that we've been wearing over the three days mm -hmm. and a flag that's, that will be on the back of the bike once we ride into D.C. So it's very personal. Um, my involvement is, uh, this is my first year doing it, um, and I have a lot of friends with the Fredericksburg Police Department and Spotsy Sheriff's Office, so um, I decided I wanted to ride with them this year. Um, probably my last year also, <laughs> since I'm close to retirement. But, you excited? Um, yes, I am. Very excited. How do you train for something like this? Uh, a lot of riding. <laughs> a lot of endurance rides. Um, a lot of hills. There are some pretty tough hills in this area that you guys have to navigate. There, there are, and uh, I think a Route One you, in Stafford, especially. You, you get very uh, intimate with those hills over the three days, and um, you know, day one is very flat. Um, there's, there's some, some, a, a couple hills at the end of the day getting into Richmond, um, but day two from, from uh, Richmond to six ten, you begin to climb some serious. Mount, uh, not mountains, but uh, hills in Stafford County, and uh, it's 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 day two that Stafford's known for just bringing the pain. So uh, no one looks forward to day two because you're you're tired from riding all day, and now you have to do these uh, hills um, to get to the hotels on 610. So they they are not pretty, but day three is just as worse. Uh, the hills in um, Prince William and Fairfax and Mount Vernon. They are actually steeper, but you at least are doing them in the morning after you had a good night's rest. So um, each day has its challenges, and uh, each day has some 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 uh, some hills that you got to feel. With. It's got to feel like mountains sometimes, though. Oh, absolutely, because... absolutely, especially on day three when you get into Mount Vernon and stuff like that, and you're you're at the bottom of a hill and you're literally looking up, going, 
how am I going to get up that hill? And again, one pedal at a time. And right, one foot in front of the other. Yep. How, how much riding do you have you done to get ready for this? Um, well, I'm going to be 100% transparent and honest. I, this is probably the worst year for me for training. I've been so busy. Um, so I've probably only done about maybe 60 miles worth of training. Um, so not nearly enough. Um, but um, you've done we'll, it before. We'll, we'll get through it. You've yeah. got, you've got yeah. muscle. It's memory. about determination. Determination at this point. So, uh, uh Mike, Michael Lassier from the sheriff's office. He, every day he's like, "Man, you think we train enough?" I'm like, "I don't think you can train enough. It's just, yeah. it's, it's it's literally about determination, and um, your why. Why why are you riding? Um, and if that doesn't get you through, then take a break. You know, take a break and get back on the bike. Um, it's all the same. Um, uh, so. But we'll get through it. Everybody's done it before. We got a couple newcomers like Beth, um, but the people who've done it before will help them get through it when they think they can't. I remember the first year I rode, I was ready to throw my bike in the back of the trailer um, at about James City County. <laughs> and uh, everyone was like, just keep riding, just keep riding. And um, it's, it's, it's very rewarding once you get to DC. So, um, and, and you know, they say one or two things are gonna happen. You're gonna take your bike and, and throw it in the biggest river you can find or you're going to come back year after year so for me i just came back um it's not an easy ride but like i said at the end it's very rewarding to meet those families and and uh, know that you did something in honor of that officer that was killed in the line of duty this year is probably the, the most diverse team we have because we have as you can see we have uh troopers from the state police uh or special agents i should say uh, from the state police we have uh one from university of mary washington that's riding with us uh, we combined with Spotsylvania uh, Sheriff's Office, so they're actually um, riding on our team this year, and um, Fredericksburg Sheriff's Office and the Police Department, obviously. Okay. Um, but I, I think, if I recall correctly, there was like 14 of us, thir 13 to 14 riders, okay. and then six support staff who work additionally just as hard as as the riders um, providing food and water. As you can see, there's some uh, water and Gatorade here that we're prepared to give out um but they, they they provide our lunches every day they make sure we have everything we need to to stay on those bikes and uh they're johnny on the spot man with everything the uh we have a bike mechanic that can fix our bikes i wondered like about that, that. Yeah. yeah they ride in the procession with us um and they fix the bikes right there on scene um, if they can't get it fixed, then obviously you have to get take a break until the next stop and they'll get it fixed. But usually they can get it fixed within minutes and you're back on your bike riding again. So it's a gift and a curse. Yeah. <laughs> well, I look forward to you guys coming through on Thursday. Thanks for what you do. This this is, uh, this is this does mean a lot, I know, to you. But it, it, it points to just... It points to the danger that that you all live with every day that we sometimes just take for granted. Yes, sir. Yeah, and and our community is great, and that's one thing that we like to highlight is the fact that um, all of the community supports us in this endeavor um, throughout the year as we do fundraisers. Um, there's companies that donate um, to make those fundraisers uh, happen. So uh, we can't thank the community enough for all the support. They donate water, Gatorade, all those things when we when we ask for it, and then you know just the uh, media for putting the information out. Um, we just had an article in the Freelance Star um, yesterday. Uh, and it was written by Sheila Jones, who is the yeah. president of the Virginia chapter. Um, really nice article. So um, it's it's just been great. It's always been great year after year. Our community coming around supporting us and, and helping us get to where we need to get to. And I guess if you're, you're a business that would like to get involved in the future, just contact City Police. Yes, if they want to get involved. Uh, again, we have a lot, a lot of fundraising opportunities. Uh, we do a golf tournament. We do an auction that's um, uh, ran by Michelle Wilson Realty. Um, we do uh, a wine festival. Um, last year we did it at Lake Oana Winery. Uh, we did it at 1781 at one point. Yeah. So there's a lot of opportunities for people to get involved if they want to, um, that they can just reach out to Law Enforcement Line United Team Fredericksburg Facebook page or reach out to Fredericksburg Police um, and our, we have a website, uh, our First World Police website has a link on there for Law Enforcement United where people can get in contact with us. So uh, a lot of ways to get in contact with us. Guess at the end of the week you're going to be sore and tired, but it'll be worth it. Absolutely, absolutely. But we look forward to it. It's, it's a good time. It's a good break away from, from the office, uh, for yeah. me at least, because I don't have to deal with, with all of the, uh, the paperwork that I normally yeah. have to deal with. So. It's, it's, a, it's a good break, a good vacation, so uh, I'll take it.